Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time something very exciting. A bottle of Sculpin from Ballast Points, a 7% IPA. One of the best in the world. I picked this bottle up at GBBF a couple of weeks ago. I've had, a couple, uh, had this a few times before. I've had a tasting session with a couple of friends and uh, then I actually shared a bottle uh, of this with um, a GBBF with Rich Rob, Magic Rock and um, Colin, previously of Marble. By the time you see this, it'll be at um, a Dark Isle up in Scotland. A couple of fantastic brewers, and this is a fantastic beer. I wanted to drink this one pretty quickly, really. I mean, and these San Diego, these West Coast IPAs, you've got to drink them fresh. I've just noticed while I've picked this bottle up, I'm not going to show you, but there's a load of sediment in there. It's not packed down. I've had it in the fridge um, since I bought it. Got to fridge those hops. So anyway, Ballast Point Sculpin 7% IPA. Let's get this open. Get it into the glass. Gonna have to let this sit for a while for my second glass, I'd imagine. Because there's loads of kind of misty looking sediment floating around in the bottom of it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. You can't really see, but there's loads of loose sediment in the bottom bottom of that. Anyway. Another cool looking label, probably the coolest looking label I'd say from Ballast Point. This kind of weird sculpting fish, I'd imagine. <laughs> anyway. See if it's uh, as wonderful as I remember. Anyway, nice pale gold ale. Really, ni really nicely clear. So I did a decent job on the pour. Bit of a foamy head, bit of frothy head, a pure white foam there. Some bubbles, kind of slowly, kind of uh, ascending to the top of the glass. Anyway, let's get a sniff of this. Wow, just the way I remember it. Oh, it's a really floral, kind of like honeysuckle. A bit of that mustiness you get from hops. Oh, loads of orange, loads and loads of orange. Orange juice, orange peel. Maybe a bit of sweet, sweeter grapefruit, not a full on bitter grapefruit really. Yeah, oh wow, that's a, that's a, that's a serious West Coast IPA. <laughs> that's, if there were a picture, I've seen this before, there's a picture of IPA, West Coast IPA in a dictionary. It had a picture sculpted next to it. Oh wow, anyway, cheers. Ooh, so nicely bitter. I had a I had a Odell IPA earlier on today, and that's got a lot of sweetness. This one, it's all bitterness, but it's not a pounding, aggressive bitterness. It's a it's a lulling kind of gentle, unfolding bitterness. All grapefruit this time, grapefruit and quite a pithy orange. Stein, nice nice bit of carbonation. Opens up there, bit of orange, bit of orange juice, bit of um, orange peel, a little bit of um, drying tart grapefruit. As it rolls on, becomes slightly piney, mildly resinous, but then there, ooh, such a st like really strict um, grapefruit tartness. So, really dry, really dry cutting grapefruit bitterness, but it's really dry, ends super clean, super crisp, but loads of grapefruit, uh, as a grapefruit flesh, and maybe a bit of lemon rind in there. Oh. It's 
it's one of those beers that you're just going to be upset that there's I can't get this at my corner store like I'm sure some people out there watching this can that's a seriously awesome IPA Oof. Oh, that, that is the closest if I had grapefruit here now and had a kind of suck on a bit of grapefruit it tastes exactly like that finishes incredible nice bit of carbonation keeps it flowing along keeps it relatively smooth but then it can it doesn't disappear at the end it just disappears in a puff really leaving this clean cutting dry bitterness but let's see if I can get a bit more on the nose now <sighs> yeah maybe a bit peachy it's got that musty hop quality probably whole leaf hops not I'm taking a stab at this, probably not. <coughs> probably not um, pellet hops. Pellet hops sometimes have a bit of a kind of like a slightly burnt toast quality to it. That's what I pick out anyway. Starts nicely, a nice bit of orange sweetness and just opens up. Grapefruit, lemon rind, grapefruit flesh, dry. Bitter, crisp, and absolutely world class. Anyway, I'm going to sip this for the rest of the evening. And that has been a bottle of Ballast Points Sculpin IPA. It's one of the all round beers. If you're one of those lucky swap swords to live in San Diego, and you can buy this absolutely stellar 7% IPA all year round, you're very lucky people. Anyway, thanks for joining me for Sculpin. It's one of the best IPAs around. Check it out. If you've got the opportunity, do yourself a favour. Get a bottle of this. Drink it. You'll fall in love. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Cheers.